another LMAX SFX tutorial for you. We start off with latex and a cotton pad to cover the eye. Use some uh, paper tissue as well with uh, more latex, make a solid base. Then we're gonna create small wounds in the face and uh, we're gonna use Sculpt Gel. If you don't have that, you can use uh, anything you do have, like scar wax, more latex and cotton pads, and yeah. Here Ellie is mixing the Sculpt Gel with uh, foundation to color it. Then she applies it to the face where she wants the wounds. And by the way, wound in Swedish is sår. And when she's done with this, she's gonna soften the edges out a bit with some oil on her fingertips, like that. And here we're creating some flappy skin. We cut up and bend out the edges of the stick like this to create a base for attaching it as well as protecting the eye in case you run into something. That way it won't go into your eye. We dip the base in latex, put it in place and hold it there while we put more cotton on the base to make a solid structure. And you need to hold the stick there until it sets. And as always, do be careful when working with things like this near your eye. And then it's paint job time and this is where you can let your imagination go wild with the colors you like. Ellie is using grease based colors because we always get the best results with that. The brand is not important in any way so use what you got. And if you want to be on top of what's happening in our studio, join us on Instagram, SFX, because we always post previews of the upcoming makeups first on Instagram. And by the way, our model today, Felicia, she's a very skilled photographer as well, so check out her work at this address. And Felicia has put in a blind contact, making her eye all milky and, uh, yeah, nasty. And the gooey stuff in the bride's mouth in the beginning was a vitamin C tablet dissolving in her mouth. Gah. And sometimes all things don't go according to plan. We ran out of uh, red color here actually, so we uh, had to use uh, the combination of fake blood and purple as a color base for the wound. And then we go for some chunky blood, in this case, uh, bloody scab. Fill the wounds with it. It's pretty dark, so don't go all in if you got this product. Throw on some powder and continue with eyeshadow. And again, the color choice is yours. This is just a suggestion. I can't believe I've been quiet this long. Some more sticky blood there. Since the stick has gone straight through her head, we need it to come out from the back as well. So we use cotton and latex to create a little base around the second stick part and use bobby pins to attach it to the hair. I know you don't see this very well, but yeah, you just have to improvise.
a little smudging and painting on the hands as well. Can't be too clean. And because we didn't do a classic zombie jaw on this, we dirty up her teeth with Tooth Animal from Cryolan. And make sure your teeth are dry before you apply it. And we can't be too white, so we need a little blood on the dress. And on the feet as well. It's removing time. Thought you might want to see this. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next week.